me for the weekly Wednesday reading. Let me tell you what, this spread is so strong. I did my spread. Um, I used all four of my decks. One is the knowledge, one is the energy, one is the animals, one is the universal message. So let me just tell you, I'm going to start. The first card that came is this. It goes, the word is pure magic. The power of our word comes directly from God and faith is the force that directs this power. Everything in our virtual reality is created with the word. We use the word for the creation of our story to make sense out of everything we experience. Doves are a very powerful animal. It symbolizes faith, angels, God, um, just spirituality. And it's spitting out all this and it's flying in the sky and it's just a very beautiful card. So what this is saying is that words are so strong and impactful and powerful. Yeah, feelings and what you put behind it is very strong, but words are very, they're very strong. They can slice through people. It depends on how you word your words. Um, and a lot of people don't realize the power of words. They're very strong. And then the next card that came was the angel of strength. It has a lion here. Lions are felines, cats, nine lives, um, repeating cycles. And the more you get knocked down, the more you get back up, the strength you have. Lions are also very strong for um, ancestors and spirit animals and things like that. The fact this is like basically saying that you are protected and that there's a lot of strength inside of you. You just have to find that magic inside of you because owls are very magical creatures and they link to ancestors and opening up your spirituality and open up to the world. And then it's funny because the next card that came out was also an owl. It goes, I do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. So that's you see how it's all dark around there, but then it's light in here. It's like a about finding that light in that dark and this is oh card jumped right out so um a lot of people's problems are coming from financial constraints why don't we put back the worry about financial constraints and focus on spirituality because financial stuff has to deal with materialism and ego and if you're getting stuck in that that's why it's happening the next universal message card, attack, pain, fear, judgment, and any form of separation are merely calls for help. So it's about learning to heal through the pain and getting over the fear and stop judging yourself and don't judge others and stop attacking others and attacking yourself. Stop instilling fear in others and pain and, 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 and stop feeling separated from yourself. Just be you and... And allow yourself to to heal and go through what you have to go through in order to become the highest form of your spiritual being. And um, that's that. Let me see if the cards have anything else. Because these cards are just jumping out today. I don't think the animals, there's any more animals because the animals that came out were owls. Oh, nope. The card came out. The otter. The otter is a, an animal that is a water creature, but also a land creature. So basically it's what it's saying is when you feel like you're drowning, start going t towards land to gasp for air. And when you feel that, um, you're starting to drain and your energy is starting to get out of balance and you need a cleansing, then you go back into the water. So the card is about basically balancing emotional and mental and physical and spiritual all together. Just balancing it all out. That's the message for the week. Thank you.